An Islamic organization, the Muslim rights concern MIRC, has condemned the endorsement of the Lagos State Governor Babajinde Songwolu for a second term, describing it as unfair and provocative. This was in reaction to last week's widely reported endorsement of a governor uh, for a second term by the Governor's Advisory Council, a group in the All Progressives Congress ahead of the 2023 gubernatorial race. The Governor's Advisory Council is an a decision, apex decision-making organization of the APC in Lagos. The well, director of the, the Muslim Rights Concern, Professor Ishak Akintola, expressed the group's displeasure over the governor's second term endorsement in a statement he personally signed on Monday. Murik maintained that the endorsement was in violation of a long-standing unwritten rule on rotational governance between Muslims and Christians in Lagos State. I'm glad to say joining us tonight to discuss this is the Director of Muslim Rights Concern and the man who signed that statement, Professor Ishak Akintola. Good evening to you, Prof. Thanks for your time. Good evening, sir. All right. Um, uh, tell us about <laughs> what, what zoning arrangement are you referring to as far as Lagos State is concerned? Well, come again. Yeah. What, what rotation, power rotation, uh, arrangement are you referring to in Lagos State? Oh, well, um, you will recall that um, uh, when uh, um, former Governor um, Akiwumi Ambode was to come into office, when he was to become governor, uh, the Christian Association of Nigeria, Lagos State chapter, uh, actually came out boldly uh, requesting that the next governor must be a Christian because a Muslim had spent uh, eight years. And of course, it was, uh, uh, that was how Akimu Miambode became governor. And uh, when, he, when he was vacated in office, uh, Governor Sawolu was brought in he has spent, Akimu Miambode has spent four years. Governor Sawoli is now concluding his, uh, his four years. And of course, uh, because Akimu Miambode was, was not allowed to come in for the second uh, term in office, it was uh, Sawolu that came to conclude, to complete uh, the second term. Well, naturally, one would expect that. Um, the next governor that uh, will that will that will that will be that will be uh, uh, running for the governorship in Labour State will be a Muslim, uh, because it's now a, a, a rotational thing, and of course that's a neat arrangement if we agree on that rotation. But surprisingly, last week, uh, the stakeholders of the of the ruling party, the APC, just came up with this uh, uh, conclusion that they had endorsed um, uh, Governor Sawolu for the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the second time. So we were pleasantly surprised, and we came together, and a lot of Muslims have been asking us, why wouldn't we uh, say something about that? Why wouldn't we speak up for the, for the Muslims? So and that, that's the, the whole thing. Of course, you remember there is a rider there. You remember there is a rider there. Uh, we, we are saying, look, there is no hard and fast rule there. Even if someone who is going to uh, run for the second term, uh, which means uh, Christians will be, wouldn't be in office for 12 years and not eight, then by the time someone who finishes his second term, a, a Muslim governor should come in and spend, the, and the Muslims you would uh, also spend uh, their own 12 years in office. Of course, in a democracy, we believe uh, negotiations, dialogue, uh, agreements should be reached. So we are right. expecting that even if they were going to announce Sawolu for a second time, the Muslims should be as stakeholders, major stakeholders in Labour State, should be consulted. And that's what we are asking for. So if they insist, 
someone who should should um, spend his uh, uh, second term now, then there is no doubt about it. At the end of his uh, second term, a Muslim must come in, spend uh, you know uh, spend two terms, and then another Muslim will come in to spend another four years, making okay. 12, 12 years to uh, to meet up with what the Christians have spent in office. All right, uh, 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 Professor Ishak Akintola, um, I'm sure you, 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 you're aware that in the Governor's Advisory Council, uh, the group which made this endorsement, which actually is in binding on the Upper Progressives Congress, they have to meet to either ratify um, a consensus candidate or have a primary of um, a governorship primary involving different candidates. I'm sure you're very well aware that the Governor's Advisory Council is a mere group and that this group has a right to endorse who they feel should be endorsed. And this is not a statement of the party in Lagos State. Oh, I'm not sure I had you correct. Okay, um, I, I, I'm sh I, I, I'll, I'll repeat myself, Prof. I'm saying I'm sure you're aware that the Governor's Advisory Council is a, simply a group. It's not a statutory organ of the All Progressives Congress. It's not a constitutionally recognized organ. It is just an, a group of individuals with common interests in the APC, and this is their private individual view uh, that the governor of Lagos State has done well enough to deserve a second term, not the view of the party. So the party actually has not said anything about this. That is when the APC, I mean a political party, the ruling party, feels about the governor. We are not controverting that. Uh, we are not saying someone who has not performed. When the Christians demanded that a Christian must come on board, they didn't say Fashola did not perform. They didn't say the Muslim governor who was there did not perform. The issue is fairness. Uh, uh, participatory democracy. Uh, inclu inclusivity. Uh, there should be there, there should be no there, there should be no group that will be excluded in decision making in governance and in the sharing of our common patrimony. That's what we are saying. But but prof prof prof, the, prof, the, 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 party, the question when the party I'm... is taking a decision yes. when the party is taking a decision yeah. about who should come on board, they should also consider the 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 the. the the multicultural nature of our but, but, society. Prof. Pro, 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 I, I guess you didn't hear my question right, so I have to repeat it. I'm saying that this group called the Governor's Advisory Council of the All Progressives Congress, it's an, a private group. It is a group of individuals. It is not a statutory or a part or organ of the APC. It's just individuals who have their view. Just like Muri can have its view, the party is not has not taken a decision to endorse anyone. The party can't even do that, except through consensus by which um, uh, other aspirants must sign in writing that they also endorse the candidate. So the party really, in essence, hasn't taken a decision. And the, the group says that this is their private view, you know, uh, independent of the party. If it is in the interest of the party, is it in the interest of the people of Labour State? Is, are, the, are those individuals in that council, are they oblivious of the fact that there are Muslims and Christians in this, in this country? We, when we take decisions, we should consider our environment. There are no hard and fast rules to this. You consider your environment. And you, whatever decision you are arriving at, they can't consult anyone. Nobody stopped them from calling the Christians. Nobody stopped them from calling the Muslims. But to just say because they are in council and so they are taking decisions, that is Baghdadash. We want to be. We want to be involved. Because Prof, you you seem to be you seem to be arrogating so much power to this governor's advisory council when they actually do not have any power than to campaign, than to say we support this person. That's all. The party has not said that they're going to endorse anybody, and I doubt the APC will endorse someone, except, of course, there's a consensus amongst all the candidates no. in writing, the, according to the Electoral we, Act. We, we have to talk, we have to speak out now. We do not have to wait until somebody announces a primary. We, the whole world had it already on television, and it was in the papers. 
that Governor Sanwolu have been endorsed by leaders of the party. So what else do you want to call primary? What else do you want to call the, 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 the next decision? Why should uh, uh, why should uh, the, the, the Muslims now wait for uh, for the final decision or whatever the final name to be announced for primary when the when leaders of the party have said they endorse uh, uh, Governor Sanwolu? All right, uh, Prof. Pro Pro Prof. Shaka Kintola, uh, I, 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 I'm sure you're aware. Are you not aware that the Governor's Advisory Council, which is an, an, a, an independent group, not a statutory organ in the APC, is made up of members of the Islamic faith? We, we have several persons in that group. For instance, that's Senator, that's Senator, that's I, I, I'll just, in case you do not, you're not aware, uh, Prof, it's in case you're not aware, let, let, me, let me help you by reading the, out even the names. If the council, even, if, even if the council has members of the Islamic faith, that is not the way to consult Muslims Prof, of Prof, other states. Prof, maybe, maybe you do not believe me. Finished, Prof, can, I, can, I, just, can I just what read out finished, the names okay, for you, up. sir? Sir, please, let me read the names for you. We have Senator Luremi Tinubu. She is there. Your problem is when you ask questions now, you don't want you don't want me to to, to, to give an answer. No, no, Prof. In order for you to have context, I am saying. I, I, can I, you listen to me? Oh, all right. Can prof. you listen to me? <laughs> I'm listening to you, Prof. What Go I am on. saying is, yeah. even if members of the Islamic faith are in the council, the, in the in the governor's council, those are politicians, not people. Not these are not Muslims who have the interest of the Muslims of Lagos State at heart. They are not there in the council to represent the Muslims. Then the members of the council will need to reach out to the Muslim community of Lagos State, whose leader is President, uh, is, uh, is uh, Professor Tajuddin Badamasi. He knows what the Muslims want. Don't, the Muslims in the governor's council don't know what the Muslims of Lagos State want. Don't confuse us. We are saying this is what we want our own interests to be represented. You are saying some Muslims have represented us in the governor's council. Who, who, who knows them? We don't know them. So, 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 so Prof, are you, are you saying... Yeah, so, so, Prof, are you saying uh, uh, um, uh, 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 an academic of your standing, uh, of your years of experience, uh, you prefer for the, the, the leadership of, of, of Lagos State to, to... I take objection to that description. Okay, I apologize. I, I apologize. I apologize, sir. No offense I intended. I apologize. In the, in the public space like this. I apologize. I apologize, Prof. I, 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 hold, you point, I hold you in very high regard, Prof. I apologize. My apologies, sir. I may be forced to call off the interview. If I, 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 I apologize to you, sir. I apologize to you, sir. I'm just trying no, to put it, it in context, but I apologize. It's no longer a friendly interview. I apologize. I, I apologize to you, sir. No, no offense intended, to, sir. So have you that for me. No, please, sir. I am calling it off. Call me another day, please. Prof, are you there? Uh, sincere apologies to you, no, Prof. No, no. Call me another day. Hello, Send Prof. Hello, Prof. Are you there? Sincere yes, apologies yes. to you. No offense intended. Okay. Are you there, Prof? All right. We, we seem to have lost him. We, we'll try and get back to him. Uh, I didn't mean any offense there. Um, um, I may have crossed the line for him, but certainly on my part, I didn't see anything wrong in that. I may have been wrong, and for that, I've apologized. I also try to get back to Prof on a personal, personal note, note to, to say sorry to him. But I was going to ask him, you know, as an academic, it would be expected that, you know, he promotes a, an egalitarian society, a society based on ideas, a society that is devoid of religious sentiments. This is the Nigeria we want to see, and Lagos State has been able to get to that point. Should we be should should he be dragging Lagos State back? You know, or does he see it? Does he not see it as taking Lagos State back? You know, when we're looking at um, voting on uh, the basis of religion. Um, of course, you remember in 1992-93, um, Nigerians uh, came out to vote a Muslim Muslim ticket, and that, those were the days in the country where it was more about the ideas and what you have for the people and how many votes you could gather, not whether you're Muslim or Christian. So I was about asking whether, as an academic, he feels that it's not against his uh, own standing in society. But, um, uh, Prof, if you're watching, sincere apologies to you, sir. No offense was intended, and I will try personally uh, to reach out to, to the Prof um, to apologize for him. You know my style. <laughs> I'm always very fiery. But the members of the Governor's Advisory Council, uh, according to reports, include um, uh, the following persons. Uh, we have um, the senator representing uh, the Lagos Central Senatorial District, Senator Luremi Tinubu. 
uh, and her two colleagues in the Red Chamber, Solomon Adeola, Lagos West, and Tokumbo Abiru, Lagos East. You have the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila. You have the current Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, uh, who himself is a, is a Muslim. You have the Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Mudashiru Obasa. You have the ex-Speaker Adeimi Kuforiji, former Deputy Governor, Mrs. Idiot Oluranti Adebule, um, and, and others. You have the likes of Tajudino Lucy, um, Prince Tajudino Lucy. Um, you have Henry Ajomale, former Lagos State APC Chair. Uh, you have Prince Abiodo Ogunyele, Ogunle, ex-Deputy to uh, former Governor Tinubu, uh, Otumba Bashiru, uh, Lebiosu, uh, and, and so on and so forth. Alhaji, S.A. Seriki, uh, Ashiwaji Olorofumi Bashoru, uh, and uh, of course Prince Rabi Olua, and so on. So it's a, a mixture of uh, Christians and Muslims. But another question I'd have liked to ask the Prophet is, um, you know what, he's talking about uh, uh, 12 years of, um, of a, a Christian ticket as far as Lagos State is concerned. But um, uh, Lagos State had two consecutive administrations, eight years of Tinubu and eight years of Fashola. Um, making 16 years. That's more than 12 years by my maths, if I'm not mistaken. But hopefully we'll have uh, a chance to talk to him tomorrow. Um, that's the much you can take, and that's the size of the show right here on Plus Politics. My name is Kofi Bertels. Uh, sincere apologies to you if you're watching and you were also offended by the question and no offense intended. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for your time.